welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. Good boy. When last we were left off, we were up here on top of a talon or a flet, whichever one you want to call it, depending on whether you're speaking Elvish or uh, common speech here. And we had uh, talked to Gimli and Legolas. Well, first, we had traveled all about the Golden Wood, as you see here. I'll try to get right to the edge. There we go, without falling off and dying. But we had traveled all around the, the Golden Wood. You see Karis Galathon right there. And uh, we had spoken to various members of the Fellowship. And we had ended up coming over here to talk to Gimli and Legolas. And they want us to take um, a walk through the woods and help them kill orcs. So that is what we're going to do right now. Welcome to Lothlorien in the daylight. It is actually like mid-morning or something like that. It is. Oh, it's afternoon, actually. I didn't realize that much time had gone by. Let's see if we can get this quest going. You see the wonderful golden glow about the place. Last time we were here, it was uh, nighttime, and all we could see was kind of the dark blue and purple shadows. So let us talk to Legolas. I would be delighted if you were to join us. I would be delighted if you would join us, Narlo. The beauty of Lothlorien is best when shared, though we must all remain alert, even when mocking among the trees of Lorien, for the orcs of Moria have come down into Nanduhirion and are able to sneak past the borders on occasion. Let me know when you are ready to go. So, we need to talk to Legolas and Gimli. Are you ready to go? We are going to accompany them on their walk around... Lorian here. Are you ready to go, Narlo? It would be my pleasure to walk the woods with both you and Gimli, and we will search too for orcs that may have slipped past the bounds. Solo quest. Though the memory be now dim, of old, elves and dwarves were close in friendship. Legolas of Mirkwood and Gimli the dwarf, through shared hardship, have rekindled the old bonds. Even now they look for orcs to slay beneath the eaves of Lothlorien. And after all that, they throw us into a nighttime instance. Ah. <laughs> what do you need? There's just no way to win. All right, instant sons of leaf and stone. Are you ready, Narlo? It is possible that no further orcs have crept me on the borders. But if any have, we must be prepared to do battle. Come then, I will show you the way. This way, my friends. I have been told of the beauty of Lothlorien since childhood, but the songs could not do these woods justice. Gimli, I too heard tales, but they were not the same sort, Legolas. Hold, friends. Well, I don't see anything, and the eyes of dwarves are renowned for their sharpness. <laughs> what are you shooting at, Legolas? Save something for the rest of us, Legolas. You and Narlo will have your chance, Gimli. This orc was just a scout. Here they come. Woohoo! My count will be the highest. I don't think it's going to be hard to protect the two of them. I certainly hope not, as you see that they are not taking hardly any damage at all from all this. Do not lose count of my victories, Legolas. Fight on, my friends. Their numbers grow fewer. Let us press on. There may be remnants of this troop still within the woods. It saddens me to see even these orcs within the golden wood. My axe delights at it, but this dwarf is saddened for your sake and for the sake of the lady. 
What say you, Gimli? Do your dwarf eyes detect more orcs nearby? Aye, there be orcs close, but it is my nose that tells me so. Here come the smart, foul-smelling foes. I will protect the beauty of Gloria. Baruk Kuzad! And another one bites the dust. There's one for me. I will protect the beauty of Lorien. My count shall be the highest. Fight on, friends. You're not the only one killing orcs today, Gimli. Shouldn't be two more, too many more waves here. The orcs are dead, but their smell remains. That is often the way of unwanted visitors, Master Dwarf. Your words do not suit you, friend Galadrim. If you have gone so long without learning the meaning of courtesy, my axe will be a willing teacher. Too many dwarves have come into Lothlorien in recent days. Another one has come to the border, Narlo, and is asking for you. All right, let's see what the archer has to say. What dwarf is out there looking for us? Is it uh, Glenorin? Out of respect for you, Narlo, and as a courtesy for the good you have done us, I have been told to find you and send you to the eaves of the wood. A stranger has arrived on the borders. In these unusual times, such a visitor to Lothlorien has been seen only once. The stranger is a dwarf, and he is asking for you, Narlo. So now we follow Gimli and Legolas to the borders. What dwarf would willingly come to this place for the hospitality? To guest is unknown. Do not take it to heart, Gimli. Neither of our kindreds have been friendly for some time. He is welcome to come to Casa Doom if it please him. I will tie his blindfold myself. It's Bosi. Gimli, glowing sun. That's not Bozy, is it? You are a long way from the Iron Hills, Bozy. All right, let's see what Bozy has to say. Things are not going well for the Iron Garrison in Kazai Doom, Narlo. Mazog still rules much of the deeps and many of the levels from his stronghold of Gazabagathal, and many good dwarves have fallen to his forces. Some, like my own sin Bori, are still captives or worse. I cannot bear to think what torments they may have suffered behind the walls of Zabagathal. Still, the dwarves of the Iron Garrison struggle to reclaim the hidden caverns, but for every beauty that is unearthed, two evils seem to spring forth from the depths. I have come to enlist the help of the ruler of these elf lands. If Celeborn of Glothlorien wishes to reap the benefits of friendship with the dwarves, he must reciprocate in kind. You are trusted by these elves, Narlo. Tell this warden this century of our plight. Perhaps they will listen to you. So talk to the Galadrim warden. We will bring this dwarf to speak with Celeborn, Narlo, but you will be held responsible for him. You will be accountable for any and all of his actions while he remains within the Golden Wood. Come with us. So let us talk to Bozy. Sorry, it said talk to Bozy. Ah, oh, there we go. That was left over. New deed, city of the Lord and Lady. You have discovered Telene Neduil. Which, uh, we will, at some point, we won't do it right now, but at some point we will come back in here whenever we're at Karas Galathon, and we'll do a travelogue on this when we can do it properly after we get actual uh, permission to enter the city. 
In the meantime, let's talk to Bozy again. For the sake of the Iron Garrison, I have put up with the indignity of being blindfolded during the passage here in Arlo. But my people could teach the elves of this place something of courtesy were they to visit Khazad-dûm. Let us see now if the ill manners of the elves spring from their lord. So we are going to watch over the audience with Kelleborn. We've met the lady, now let us go meet the lord. Such indignities will be forgiven if Kelleborn will help the Iron Garrison. Lord Celeborn and Lady Galadriel are most gracious. They will listen to your request. But will they do more than listen, I wonder? It is said the Lady of these Woods wields a terrible power and is no friend to dwarves. Said by those who know little or nothing about the Lady Galadriel Bozy. Her power lies in wisdom and in kindness even for those who mistrust her. This way, please. Yep, there's the Lord and Lady. Welcome to Lothlorien, Bozy of the Iron Garrison. I am at your service, Lord Celeborn and Lady Galadriel of Lorien. If you know of the Iron Garrison, you must know the troubles that have befallen us. I know that one who enters Moria should expect to find troubles within it. I should be surprised to learn this was not the case. Would you say the same if it were your home that needed reclaiming? Was the danger that came to my home of my own making? You hear a woman's voice inside your head. Much resentment must be overcome if elves and dwarves here are to have peace. I had thought the elves of Lothlorien would be more courteous to their neighbors. But it must happen if any are to survive the coming tide. But I see now that I was wrong, and you are content to live in seclusion until all are destroyed. Perhaps you should tell us what hardships the Iron Garrison faces within Moria, Bozy. Very well, so I shall. Narlo has been a great help to us in the mines. We have won several battles against the orcs, but always they return, and in greater numbers. Our miners work to unearth new passages, but nameless creatures lurk within the most promising. And now my son Bori has been captured by Mazog, ensnared by the sorcery of Gorathul. Gorathul is known to me. I did not know he had left Mirkwood. I will send a number of Galadrim to aid your people in their efforts, Bozy. The times are too dark for the friendship of our peoples to remain lapsed. Come here, Narlo, and you too, Gimli. My lord's decision affects you both as well. A close up of them, there's the Lord Celeborn, who is described as having, you know, the hair as silver as the stars, and his lady Galadriel, who I swear was a... Hmm, her hair should be more golden than that. But anyway... Another couple of first age elves for you there, people. Galadriel. The Lord of the Galadrim has much wisdom, and it is his wish that the dwarves not face the darkness of Khazad-dûm unaided. So it will be, and you too shall stand against whatever evils lie now beneath the mountains, Narlo, if that is your wish. Alright, completed the instance, Sons of Leaf and Stone. Let us talk to the lady once more. It's nice to uh, be in a situation where we can actually see the both of them and they're not totally blown out with the, uh, the overextended bloom there. It is time for you to leave, young one. There is much to be done. And we're back on Karen Amroth. Let's talk to Gimli here. I would have the mines restored, but my road lies with Frodo. I wish I could help the Iron Garrison with their efforts in Khazad-dûm, Narlo. The mines have brought me great sadness, but I would have them restored, and the Iron Garrison would need able-bodied dwarves as that is to happen. But I cannot. My road lies with Frodo, and I will see this errand through before I return to the mines. 
The need of the iron garrison is great, but glowing sun does not turn aside from one charge to begin another. Gimli's brow furrows, and then his eyes light with wonderment. I am struck by the thought, Narlo, that Bozi's tidings may not have been unknown to the Lady Gladriel. At my first meeting with her, it seemed to me that she offered a choice, a choice between continuing the quest and leaving it to others, and here arrives just such a point of decision. So let's see what we're going to do. The Bow of Unification, which we can't use. A Blade of Unity. 53.4 mm, DPS or a heritage rune of lore to add 15,000 item experience points I am thinking that we might actually go with the heritage rune we'll get that and that way we can add a little more experience I have made my decision Add a little more experience to our legendary items because there will be more weapons coming in on top of us. Chapter 4, A Tense Alliance. That is my decision. I will not abandon the quest with which I have been charged. I hope you will give Dabosi and the rest of the Iron Garrison the aid that I would have, yeah, the aid that I would have provided if I were there, Narlo. With the errand of this country, company is finished. Ooh, I need more sleep. I hope to return to reclaim Moria, and your efforts will help make that possible. Bozy said that he would return to the Chamber of the Crossroads near Durin's Way in Moria. Go now to him and give him both my regret that I cannot now return and my fervent good wishes for his success. So we are headed back to the Chamber of the Crossroads. Why did I know we just were not done with Moria yet? So there we go. The Tents of Lions. Next time, we will travel into the Chamber of Crossroads, back into Moria, and we will talk to Bozy, and we will see what comes of the alliance between the wood and uh, the mine, I guess. I could say the cave, the mine, whichever one. The Sons of Leaf and Stone. So there you go. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, we will see you next time when we travel back into Moria. Bye-bye.